Hi guys. So essentially I'm thinking that this sort of video diary vlogging thing that I'm doing is really going to end up being a lot of training tips. So I'm hoping that, you know, what I'm bringing, the content I'm bringing to you in these videos, I'm hoping will help you with your own dogs or just, uh, you know, if you're having any issues or just help you think of things in a different way, um, training wise, um, because these thoughts occur to me all the time, especially when I'm dealing with my boy Fred. So he's exhausted right now. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. He just went swimming for the second time today. So that's about 20 to, you know, 20 minutes at a time of just pure running around and, and uh, retrieving items out of the pool, being in the sun, you know, just whatever, exercising basically. Right before we got in the pool, or he got in the pool, we went for a walk with Clancy. And I was thinking about something that basically I tell all my clients, which is that my dog training clients, which is that, you know, think about the term spending time, right? Like the way we spend our time is really in, important because it's an investment in, you know, whatever we invest in is what we're gonna sort of get back. Um, or it is the determinant of what we're gonna get back. So if a dog spends all their time, you know, sleeping during the day, several, several hours sleeping, and then as soon as you get home, uh, you know, their energy is gonna come out in probably some chaotic or crazy sort of ways. Um, also, if, you know, if you train your dog to do various things, obedience commands, um, you know, tricks, agility, uh, working for their food, working for their space, just whatever it is that you might have them be doing that's productive, if they're spending their time doing that, then they can't be spending their time doing something counterproductive like barking or digging or scratching at the back door or whatever the case may be. So, you know, really when you're working with your dog and you're wanting your dog to behave a certain way, you're managing your dog's behavior by managing the way they spend their time and by dictating the way they spend their time basically because um, if they dictate the way they spend their time then chances are they're gonna get into trouble because they shouldn't have that responsibility of having to you know figure out what to do with themselves. They're like toddlers pretty much so um, so that's basically it. Um, Fred and I have have a class that we're teaching at 430 so that'll be another you know hour spent doing something productive and earlier in the day um, you know when we weren't when he wasn't outside playing with Clancy or whatever like when I was sitting at my laptop and working on this class that I'm giving today um, he was, you know, relaxing or resting at that point. When I'm in the kitchen cooking, he's working on his self-control exercises, you know, by staying in his spot while I'm cooking and that sort of thing. So I just urge people to think about training that way. It's not necessarily about, <clears throat> I mean, it is about teaching your dog how to do different things, but it's, it's a lot more on a, you know, day-to-day -day basis through, you know, in the home, it's more about managing what your dog is doing, where they are, and how much exercise they've gotten throughout the day. And I don't mean just physical exercise, but you know, cognitive exercise and social exercise. Like, have they socialized? Have they um, interacted with other dogs or other people? Have they gone out in public and maybe been challenged in a new way out in public? Um, those are all productive ways of, of spending your dog's time or helping your dog manage their time and and therefore their energy because they're putting energy into whatever they're doing at any given time. So that's that and we will see you guys later. And here's Fred, totally exhausted in a good way. <laughs>